Recently, we started noticing that our water heater occasionally runs out of hot water. During the day, there's typically no problems at all, we never run out of hot water. But at night, every once in a while, the hot water does run out. And we also noticed that on those days in particular, those days were cloudy all day. So finally, I got out to the garage and I decided to investigate what's going on with the water heater and why does it occasionally run out of hot water. And just to give you some background, we moved into this rental property about two months ago, so I wasn't too familiar with how the water heater is set up. This one is kind of interesting, and the setup that they have going here is becoming more and more popular, it seems like, so I thought I would make a video explaining how it's set up and how this system works. The first thing I found when I came out to my garage to investigate is this little gray box, which is a timer for the water heater. The next thing I noticed down below it is the solar panel control for the water heater. This controller right here made me immediately realize that I have a solar water heater with one of those collector panels on the roof. This also means that the water heater has more pipes than the traditional water heater. On a normal water heater you only have two sets of pipes. You got the cold side and you got the hot side. But on this water heater we also have two more sets of pipes. We have a pipe run that goes up to the roof and then another pipe run that comes back down. The indoor water heater tank is also larger than your typical tank. So right on the bottom of the tank we have the solar connection out pipe and then right above it over there this is the in pipe. And here's the circulating pump that circulates the water between the collector on the roof and the storage tank inside of the garage. So basically the way this system is designed is for the water to be heated by the sun during the day and for the water heater heating elements, the electrical part of it, to only turn on for a short little time during the night. In my particular situation, I didn't think there was anything wrong with the water heater itself or with the system as a whole. I thought maybe just the adjustments needed some fine tuning. The only thing that was wrong on my system is that I simply had to adjust the time on the timer. So let's take a look at that next. This is what's inside the timer box and the most important piece is this yellow dial right over here. This is a 24 hour clock, usually separated into two sets of 12. Now this type of a timer is completely mechanical, which means if you have a power outage or if there's daylight savings time change, this thing will not automatically adjust and you have to manually come in here and adjust the time. Another important thing to mention is that this timer arrow is stationary. The metal arrow stays in place and only the yellow dial spins. On my phone right now, I am showing 1031. But on this timer clock, I'm showing about 9 o'clock. Adjusting the time on these is super easy. All you gotta do is pull this yellow dial right out and then spin it any way you want. So we had about 10.30, which is right there. Every one of these lines go up in 15 minute increments. So now I have it set to the correct time, which is about 10.31. And then on the side of the dial, we have these metal tabs called trippers. These are the things that turn the water heater on and off. Looking at these tabs, we see that the electric water heater turns on at about 3 a.m. and then turns off just after 5 a.m. It's set up like this because of course there's no sunlight during the night, so during the night the temperature of the water in the water heater starts to go down. And in order for us to have hot water when we wake back up, the electric heating elements kick on and heat up the water until about 5 a.m. These trippers are very easy to adjust. You simply have to spin the little screw on them counterclockwise to loosen it. And then you can move the tripper to wherever you want it to be. So if I want it to be at 6 a.m. instead of 5, I can just move it up slightly and then tighten the screw back down. Usually hand tighten is enough. But if you wanted to be extra sure, you could use a pair of pliers to tighten it down just a little bit more. Also, some water heaters are going to have two sets of these. So there's going to be two times in the day when the electric water heater turns on and off. Once we're finished with the adjustments, we can go ahead and close the door. And we also see this lever right over here that says off and on. 
If you ever want to override this timer and just turn the electric water heater on, you can simply switch this lever to the on position and that will turn the electric water heater elements on. When you switch it to the on position like that, the timer does continue to rotate and the next time it comes across one of the trippers, it'll revert back to its original program. So if you're expecting more showers than usual on some particular day, then it might not be a bad idea to just go ahead and switch that to the on position. I also took the time to look through the manual and I learned another useful piece of information. The way this solar water heater operates is basically with temperature sensors. There's a temperature sensor inside of here and there's a temperature sensor on the collector that is on the roof. Whenever it's using solar to heat the water, it's checking the temperatures and when the water on the roof is 16 degrees higher than the water in the inside tank, then it turns on the circulating pump and it starts to circulate the water. It brings the hot water from the roof inside of the tank and it takes the water that was in the tank and it brings it up onto the roof. And that is all I had. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. And for those of you that made it all the way to the end of the video, I have a perfect comeback for you if somebody is getting on your case about not getting up early enough in the day. Tell them this. I know that the early bird might get the worm, but the second mouse definitely gets the cheese.